Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to solve the one of the coolest question which is linked list cycle. So this question is pretty good. So what we are doing in this question, we have to check whether the linked list has a cycle or not. So what does this mean by cycle is like, for example, if you look at this question, all right, so wait, uh, wait. If you had, if you look at this one, so basically you see uh, first we have three two zero minus four and this minus four is pointing to two again okay so like after this there is no null null pointer or, or nothing like that is again pointing to two so this is a cycle so the, we have to return true for this one okay but like what if uh, there is no cycle then for that we have to simply return false if you look at this one so there is like this one does not have any cycle so this one is like just uh, pointing null nothing like that so we just print false for this all right so let me just give you a quick uh, understanding for this one uh all right guys so what i will do is i i just created uh, I, I just took this example three two zero minus four this one and uh, i i will show you by by this okay so here we are so guys first of all uh, what i'm doing in this one is i have made two uh tooling list i will make this one as a null and this one is pointing at two all right guys now what i will do i will create uh, two nodes over here and i will say this is my first node and this is my last node by f and l okay so what ha happen is now so uh, when i move this node so my first node will go two two step ahead so one two okay now coming to my second node my second node will move only one step ahead one over here all right guys now what happened again my again my f node will move one two back over here all right guys because this one is pointing over here so it will go back over here and my l will go back again no sorry go for forward again over here all right by one step only okay so now guys what, what happened this thing will continue until and unless the last one on the last node will meet the first node over there okay so now what happened the f1 will again go from this is over here now so this is one two okay guys so it will again again go back to over here all right now my l1 will move one step again fo forward now this is the time now this is the time when my first node will meet the last node so my first node simply go one two and come over here all right so this this, this one is cycle so it, it will so when they both will meet so it means like it is true and they have a cycle okay this uh, link list has a cycle now coming to this one all right so let's just talk about uh, the below one all right let me just take this one example same again over here all right guys okay uh, I, <laughs> I forgot f over here f this over here okay here we go now all right guys so now uh, what happened similarly the f will go two step ahead one two and the l will go only one step ahead one the f will again go two step ahead so this will be uh one two now my f pointer is at null okay the l will move again ahead if you see the l will go again ahead but now it's time of f f will i can't go anywhere else because uh, it, it's at the null so this is this is false and it does not have any life cycle okay the, so now what we will do i will just show it to you this same thing by using our code so what i will do i will create first these two variables okay so this is we called uh, sorry list node list node okay guys so what i will show you i will show you my this is called a first which is pointing at head now and my another node i will create my last one which is again pointing at head in the starting as i show you so little bit mistake but no worries we will manage okay so now guys what i will do i will create a while condition while my first is not equals to null and i will say my first dot next is not equals to null okay if that's the condition then i will say my first will move two nodes ahead okay so it will be first dot next dot 
next all right my mistake similarly the head will go only one step all right now we create an if condition to check if they are at the end both if they at the end both are on the same position we will say first equals to last if that's then we will return two if that's not the condition then simply we will end up with returning false i hope this uh, makes some sense with the diagram i have shown to you guys all right so let me just uh, give a quick hit let's see if we have any kind of it's showing me time limit exit so guys a quick correction like i did a very stupid mistake i just put uh, i have to put last over here instead of this one so i hope now it will work fine let's just hit and here we go so i hope this question makes some sense and sorry for the like mistake mistake happens because coders do mistakes but not too much but yeah all right so i hope guys this question uh, understand to you if you still have any doubt then do just let me know in the comment section i will definitely reach to you and if you have any suggestion then do please let me know like how can i improve my video quality or more if you want all right and uh, just if you like this solution if you understand it then please hit a like button i don't i'm not saying about the subscribe just do it for the subs like all right because it really motivates me thank you very much guys for watching this video i will see you in the next one until then take care bye bye and i love you guys